got this stainless steel spoon that I actually flattened out with a hammer and it's uh, stainless from China I just set it on this uh, part here and beat it flat with a hammer and I drew somewhat of a uh, Skinner blade on it and I'm gonna cut it out excuse the mess here this is my workbench <laughs> got all kinds of uh, pieces of flint there that I've done flint napping and such and uh, it's all sitting there that's pieces I may use again but I'm going to use my angle grinder to cut this and I just wanted to show how easy it is for someone to uh, make somewhat of a you know a cheap blade I paid a dollar fifty for this you know this spoon and uh, you look at it you know it's a fairly big spoon probably three four inch blade three uh, yeah about three three and a half inch blade and uh, gonna uh, end up cutting it off about here or whatever putting a wood handle the only problem is is I may it's gonna might be difficult because I'm not sure if I can drill through this or not I know my bush point knife I couldn't drill through and here's the bush point that's what I did for a sheath ended up doing this is a nylon uh, nylon webbing, and uh, I just put uh, I can put it on a belt, or I've got it as a neck knife right now, as you can see here. But that's the bush point that I made, and that was made out of a uh, stainless steel cleaver. That there, and this works great. This knife, this does, this works great, and wanted to make this and so on to try it out and uh, it works great so I thought ah, I'm just playing around you know I've had this spoon for a while I'm gonna cut it out and uh, see what I can get out of it so I'm gonna cut this out now with the grinder and then I'll be back as you can see I have it rough cut out now and uh, I had tipped it in the snow to keep it cool uh, you see it start turning red hot you have to back off for a second and uh, let it cool down otherwise you're going to ruin the temper in this and it's not going to hold as a edge as long if you let it heat up too much then you'll have to retemper it and I'm going to try to do this and uh, just do it nice and slow and uh, so I don't heat it up too much so it'll still hold an edge and I won't have to retemper it um, a lot of people would probably say you have to retemper it anyhow but this here is just a uh, knife that I'm just going to be playing around with and such you can see that I did not go all the way to the line itself I'm going to grind that down to uh, even this up now so I got to switch from my cutter wheel to my grinder and I'll periodically uh, when it starts heating up I'll keep it cool by sticking it in the snow just moved into the house so that flat file and that grinder is all that I've used so far and uh, got somewhat of an edge on this and now I'm going to use my stone to sharpen it up and if you look at this here it has a coarse fine and medium so I just switch this over to the coarse and uh, you know, then I'm just going to follow the edge. You know, and keep going until it's I feel that it's sharp. You know, on both sides. And then uh, that's going to take a while, so I'm not going to, you know, keep this running the whole time. But uh, you know, you basically go around like this here. I'll probably uh, use spit on it for lubrication. But to be honest, right now. Uh, you don't even need to until you basically knock off all the burrs and so on and then you know you put the spit on it for lubricant so it makes it a little finer sand but you can see well I don't know if you can or not but uh, I think it's going to turn out alright so I'm going to sharpen this up and then I'll get back to you
it's uh, cutting pretty good right now. I can put a better edge on it, but it's uh, very hard in the hands right now since it don't have a uh, handle. But it will do what you need to do. You can get this, uh, you know, pretty sharp and so on. But uh, that is a uh, knife, basically a skinner, but uh, you can use it for other tasks out of a stainless steel spoon. Just wanted to show that to you and, uh, you know, to show you how easy it is to make a blade that is usable. Pretty sharp. Just cut off this uh, little piece off this ant moose antler here, and this right here. And uh, this is what I ended up doing with that blade. I cut it off here so it's a rat tail, basically. I put these grooves in because I'm drilling this out here, and I'm going to drill it out so that will fit right down in through there right up until you know it bottoms out up here and then I'm going to epoxy it in and that's why I have these grooves in here so it will uh, hook into the epoxy and so on so that's what I'm doing right now is I'm um, drilling down through there and making this slot so this blade will fit in here so when I get it done enough that that will fit in there nice I'll get back to you there it is. It's uh, it's in there tight. That's drilled out in through there, somewhat sanded down, and uh, that fits in through there, no problem. And now I'm going to uh, have to get the epoxy. But I'll show you what it's looking like thus far. I'll stick that back down in there. basically looking like that thus far it does feel good in the hand it's going to be all right clean that up and so on I know it will work well it's not the prettiest thing you ever seen it's definitely uh, rustic <laughs> but uh, the reason I'm doing this video is to show people that want to play around and make knives and so on that they can use that's why I'm making this video for beginner knife makers and so on and stuff like that there just to give them an idea so I'm gonna get the epoxy and uh, glue that in I'm just using a five minute epoxy and what I'll do is uh, take the blade out I'll fill that hole with the epoxy and then shove the blade in and uh, wipe the excess off and then let it dry and then I can take back, I can sand this uh, up some and clean up the handle and so on. So when it's all finished, I'll uh, show you what it looks like. But that's that's all I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill that hole full of epoxy, shove that in, wipe off the excess, and let it dry. Well, there it is. It's all finished now. Got uh, this sanded up some. You can see the uh, or bugs and stuff had got had you know gotten into this uh, antler long ago, but uh, it's glued in there with epoxy. Shouldn't go anywhere. Go and make a really nice skinner. And you could carve with it, as I said. Now that it has a handle on it, so uh, there's a cheap knife. And uh, for you uh, DIY project guys and uh, beginners, 
kind of thing. This here would make you a nice knife to go out and play with and do some bush, even bushcraft with. I mean, uh, you can carve with that, cut notches and so on. You're not going to baton with it, of course, but a lot of knives you don't baton with. You know, you could pre prepare a meal with that. It's a knife. Uh, as long as it has a sharp edge, you can pretty well do anything with any knife. Pretty much. Anyhow, that's it. And uh, thought I would uh, show you all how to make a knife out of a spoon. Bye for now.